Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back again with really interesting coding interview question video today. Today guys, we are going to solve a lead code question. Question number 860, lemonade change. Before I start with the problem statement guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then I just want to request you to please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming, coding related videos, framework related videos, etc. Okay. Now let's get started with the problem statement. So basically guys, we have a lemonade stand uh, in this problem statement and the cost of a lemonade is $5. Customers can pay to us in $5, $10 or $20 uh, bills. Obviously, if a customer pays more than $5, then we have to give the customer back the change. Okay. So let's see this with the help of an example. So we have got customers. So the first three customers, they pay us in $5 bills. So obviously, we don't have to... Uh, pay back uh, them any change uh, but the fourth customer comes uh, pays us in a ten dollar bill amount so we have to give them back five dollars so because we have accumulated three five dollar bills from the previous three customers we can definitely pay back uh, this fourth customer a five dollar bill in their change amount now uh, we have got a ten dollar bill and two five dollar bills so by the time the fifth customer comes with a $20 bill, we can pay back the fifth customer a $10 bill and a $5 bill and thereby we will be able to return the correct change to this customer. Okay. If we are able to uh, return correct change to all the customers guys, then we have to output true. Otherwise, we have to output false. So for example, in this case, we have... Uh, the last customer will not get any correct change because we only will be left with $10 bills and we are simply out of all the $15 bills. Okay. So here the answer is false. The constraints are that the uh, length of the bills, that means the total number of customers range from 1 to 10 to the power 5. The value of the bill could be 5, 10 or 20 only. So now that the problem statement is clear to us guys, let's uh, go to the solution part. So to solve this problem guys, first of all, we have to keep track of our $5 bills and our $10 bills. So I'm going to create two variables here. Uh, one is called as 5 bills and initially it is going to be 0. So let's initialize this to 0. And let's create another variable here called as 10 bills and this is also going to be initialized to 0. Now we are going to create a for loop which is going to range from i to less than bills dot length which basically means we are just reversing all the bills uh, provided to us by the customers. Now first of all we are going to check if the bill which was given to us was a $5 bill. So if bill i is uh, sorry uh, bills i is equal equals to 5 then we don't have to pay back any change okay we will just increment our uh, five bills value to one more so this basically means that now we have got a five dollar bill with us so we can use that five dollar bill later to pay back any change okay now in the else condition uh, in the else if condition we are going to check if bills i is equal equals to 10 so if the bills, uh, if we have received a $10 bill, then we first have to check if we have got more than uh, enough 5 bills. So if 5 bills is greater than 0, then we will just decrement the value of the 5 bills because we have uh, given back the one 5 bill to the customer as change. And we will simply increment the 10 bills to uh, one more because we have collected our $10 bill from the customer but if we are out of the $5 bills that means 5 bills is not greater than 0 then we are simply going to return false from this for loop and basically this means that we are not going to uh, pay back every customer with the correct change now after this else the only condition which is left with us is that if the comes with a $20 bill so if a customer comes with a $20 bill, so the first thing we have to check if we have got a 10 bill and also a 5 bill. So if 10 bill is also greater than 0 and we also have uh, 5 bills also. So if both of them are greater than or equal to 0, so we can just give the customer one $10 bill. 
So we'll just decrement this and one $5 bill. So we can just decrement this and that will be enough to pay back the customer. Else, else if we have got three $5 bills, so if $5 bills is greater than equals to three, then we can just keep our $5 bills, uh, give the customer three $5 bills, so five bills uh, reduce them by three. And then also we will actually pay the correct change to the customer. But else, so if we do not even have three $5 bills and we don't even have 10 bills and five bills, one 10 and one five bill, then we cannot really return uh, the correct change to the customer. So we will just return false. If uh, we do not return false from any of these conditions, that means we are able to return correct change to all our customers and we will simply return true from the end of the for loop. So let's run this code guys. Let's see if this works for our example cases. And you can see guys that it is accepted for one example and hopefully it will get accepted for and yes, you can see it's accepted for others as well. Now talking about the time complexity. So as you can see guys that we only have one for loop and we are just reversing all the bills only once. That's why the time complexity is order of one. Talking about the space complexity, uh, space complexity is order of one uh, because we are not using any extra space. Time complexity is order of n because we are only traversing all the bills only once, okay? So that was the video guys and that was the solution. I hope you guys liked the solution and I hope that your coding practice became a little bit better after this. If it did help you guys, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Also guys, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for future notifications. Write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. All feedback is definitely welcome. I'll see you guys in a next really interesting video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.